Hello, um, welcome back to Claire's Allotment. New season's about to start, so we've got lots of things to sow this year. Now, um, what I'm going to sow today is parsnips. Now, I know I've done those before, uh, but I'm going to sow them in a slightly different way um, than I've normally sowed them. Um, when I put that um, message out and said, "What do you want me to grow? What do you, you know? What do you want to see me grow?" Um, somebody did email and said parsnips. So I'm going to show you those again, but instead of growing in a line like we usually do, I'm going to grow them in a block. Um, and I'll show you how I will do those. I've already sowed um, some carrots in a block, um, so I'm going to see how they get on. They will be slightly hard to weed, but I just sort of think that, I mean, I've been to various places and you sort of, you've seen um, on vegetable patches that they've grown various things in blocks and I thought well, actually it looks quite nicer because it's more concentrated. So I thought I would, uh, I would give that a go. Um, you may well notice behind me, it's a little on the foggy side. <laughs> it's half past nine, oh sorry, half past nine in the morning. Um, when I woke up at seven o'clock this morning, it was beautiful and sunny. Um, and the fog seems to have closed in in the last half an hour. I'm not quite sure why, but um, there we go. There is one other person on site, way over there, but most other people are, uh, are staying away, but it's not cold because it's foggy it's still quite warm so I'm hoping that it won't last that long and then the Sun will come out again so these are the parsnips they're called palace f1 and they're from mr. Fothergills I'm sure you can get them at other places but um, I will show you how to sow these in a block right now I've already weeded this block um, depending on how much how many seeds you have there's 200 in here I expect it will take up a space between sort of about a meter square ish um, but we'll see if I need a little bit more space then I'll just encroach a little bit further um, along but um, I've weeded this this area and I've put a load of um, horse manure on top uh, and it's been sitting here for about a month now so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it all in so just turn the soil all over in the area that you're going to sow them in if you find any little weeds that you missed or that have started to grow again then just remove them so I'll just turn over a nice area and I'll be back with you in a minute. Right now once you've turned it all over just smooth it down so it's level okay just give it a little as you know because you're gonna have to turn it over in a minute again anyway so just make sure that it's it's level and that any big bits of uh, lumpy soil are crushed down okay now normally what I would do is I would do a drill and then I would water that drill but because we're sowing it in a block I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do because actually this soil is quite warm anyway it's, it's quite sort of a little bit on the damp side anyway um, but even if it was dry I wouldn't water at this stage okay so that's nice and even now don't do this on a windy day if you're going to do it in a block because you lose all your seeds okay so that's nice and even like that and then all we need to do now is to sprinkle the seeds on the top now if you want to get a line um, and put a, you know a bean pole or anything like that and then you don't go over that line uh, it's entirely up to you but these seeds you can see quite easy if you're going to do it with carrot seeds I would suggest that you put in a, um, some form of marker because they're very difficult to see so just very very carefully very gently just sprinkle the seeds over the top of the soil like this okay make sure they don't go too close together because obviously we want them to grow but We'll see. Now I'm sowing these 
It's actually April now. It's right at the beginning of April. Um, and I hadn't sown them before because it was actually too wet. Um, and if it's too cold, they don't like it either. Um, I sowed them too early last year when it was so blooming cold. And I only got a few, but the ones I got were huge. So, there we are. Okay, still got a few more. The last few. Ooh, right at the end. You know, it would most probably be easier if I actually went around the other side, but I can't be bothered. So, just the last few, and we'll put those in. So they're nice and evenly spaced. Okay, now all we need to do now is to very gently turn over the soil again, just like this. And this will cover the seeds and put them down to the depth that they need to. So just put the trowel in and just turn that little bit over like that, okay? It will move the seeds a bit um, but it will move other ones so you know even when we sow them in a nice straight line then we tend to sow some too close together anyway so just turn them over just like that I'm gonna have to get around the other side and do the other ones If any of you have grown um, your vegetables in blocks before, I'd be interested to know how you actually got on and how they how they got on. So, um, you know, leave a leave a comment in the bottom. Now, once you've evened it, once you've turned it all over, even them all out. Okay, just like that. Oh, look, there's a few poking through. If you do see any sitting on the top, then just push them down. Okay, just like that. Now, there. Okay, and there we go. So, that's them, and we've just got another couple of things to do, so I'll be back in a sec. Right now, all we need to then do is to put the label on a stick like this put the stick in and then put a bottle on top so that we don't poke our eye out. Now you may have noticed I've put a stick here as well. Okay, now this is just my marker stick so that when I come to sew the next thing slightly further up in the bed, I know how far I got to with the parsnips. Okay, so that's that. Right, well that's sewing parsnips in a block. Um, I'll keep you updated on how they get on. Hopefully now that the weather's uh, got quite nice actually, apart from the fog, um, which seems to be clearing actually, um, then hopefully these will start to come up. Um, but you can grow most things in, in a block, carrots, peas you can grow in a block, um, parsnips, if you want to grow your beetroot um, or spring onions, anything like that, instead of growing in a line, you can grow them in a block. Okay, and I think if you do them like that, you actually use the space more efficiently. I might be wrong, but you never know. Anyway, I've got lots of onions to put in, so I will see you soon. Bye-bye.